Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. So the last few weeks have been really good for Mac gaming in general, especially as we have had the very recent release of Ryujinx on Mac, which has allowed a whole bunch of Nintendo Switch games to be emulated pretty much flawlessly on Apple Silicon hardware. And this works amazingly well, especially considering that this is the first release of Ryujinx on Mac OS. Now Ryujinx is not the only Nintendo Switch emulator in town. There's also the arguably much more popular Yuzu emulator, which unfortunately has never had a macOS or ARM64 release. However, this is all about to change, especially with the blog post that Yuzu have released today, announcing support for the ARM64 architecture and the fact that Yuzu can now run on macOS. So in this video today, we're going to be talking about some of these new announcements and what it means if you want to be able to emulate Nintendo Switch games on your M1 or M2 Apple Silicon Mac. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming news. So I definitely recommend checking out the latest UZ progress report from November 2022, which was released earlier today. If you scroll down a little bit, you're going to find a section called CPU kernel and debugger changes, where the Yuzu team talk about support for ARM64 devices. Some recent updates to Yuzu earlier in November have resulted in the ability to run Yuzu with 32-bit titles on ARM64 Linux. And this has been tested with Asahi Linux with Lava Pipe for Vulkan support. So if you didn't already know, Asahi Linux is a project which aims to run Linux bare metal on Apple Silicon hardware. And very recently, they've also released new Apple GPU drivers, which allow hardware acceleration and even allow some games to run, for example, Quake 3. And progress is happening slowly and steadily. This is because this is is a small team reverse engineering everything from network drivers to graphics drivers. However, we already have support for OpenGL 2.1. So technically Yuzu is going to require OpenGL 4.6 as well as Vulkan 1.2. And if you know anything about Asahi Linux, we don't currently have a compatible Vulkan driver. So therefore, if we want to run this on Asahi Linux on an M1 Apple Silicon Mac, we need to use Lava Pipe, which is Mesa CPU rendering Vulkan driver, which is basically running Vulkan through software mode and this is going to result in very slow performance. Furthermore, this initial build only supports 32-bit games. There's going to be an update for 64-bit games which is the majority of Nintendo Switch games. However, an update needs to be merged. Once this is done, there's going to be no restrictions on which games can be executed. So you can see that Yuzu have released several screenshots already of Yuzu running on Asahi Linux on an M1 Apple Silicon Mac. This is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe which is a 32-bit game and this is being run through Yuzu through Asahi Linux on an Apple Silicon Mac. What's really cool is that we can see this is booting. If you look at the bottom right hand side, you can see that the scale is 0.5, so it's half the normal resolution, and the game is only running at 1 FPS even on the menu. Things look slightly better in Super Mario Galaxy with the native resolution scale, we're getting 5 FPS on the menu, and something like Super Mario 3D All Stars is getting 13 FPS at 0.5 resolution scale. But anyway, it's cool to see that these games actually boot and progress is being made on the ARM64 CPU architecture. However, progress isn't just restricted to Asahi Linux. If we scroll down here, we can also see a screenshot of Yuzu running on macOS. Thanks to recent progress on work completed on macOS, Yuzu can now run directly on this operating system. Whilst the emulator will launch on macOS, no games are currently able to run. And part of this is down to the fact that macOS does not support the Vulkan graphics API, which a lot of these emulators are built upon. As they say in the blog post, we have a very long road ahead to fully support macOS. OS, but the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, says the old man. So the way that I see it is that this is excellent progress for this emulator. There's a lot of work left to be completed for this to be usable for the general Mac population. However, it's always good to have competition and who knows, potentially Yuzu on macOS in the future could have better compatibility or speed compared to Ryujinx in a few years time. However, if you are interested in emulating Switch games on the Mac right now, then Ryujinx is definitely the way to go. It has full playable support with what I would say is about 80% of all the games that I've tried and it works fantastically even on the base M1 Apple Silicon Mac. The Ryujinx team have achieved a huge amount especially with their use of the ARM hypervisor which allows 64-bit games to be virtualized rather than being emulated and the integration of Molten VK means that they don't have to reinvent the wheel. They can use this compatibility layer to bridge the gap between Vulkan and Metal which is Apple's graphics API and allow games to run really well 
on Apple Silicon hardware. So anyway, it's great to see that Yuzu have finally started to work on an M1 and M2 Apple Silicon compatible emulator. If you have any thoughts about this project, then please make sure to leave a comment. Once Yuzu is playable on macOS, then I'll be sure to make a tutorial video on this topic then. I really look forward to seeing future progress. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.